originating from the jungles of the Amazon forests, Pseudoripsalis amazonica, also known as Dysocactus amazonica, some people call it Wittia amazonica. This is an epiphytic cactus, not to be confused by Epiphylum, which is an orchid cactus. This plant is from the family Cactaceae, with those modified stems which looks like leaves. And the flowers are magenta, deep magenta, almost blue, which is unheard of in the cactus world. Originating from the jungles of the Amazon deep, this plant does not really require too much soil to grow. So out here you can see it's growing in um, sphagnum moss. Because it's an epiphyte, so you just have to provide it with a little moisture on the root zone. The substrate is pure uh, sphagnum moss and that will be enough to hold the moisture for the plant which requires so much humidity. The modified stems which are supposed to grow upright but due to weight they will always droop. This is why we use it as a cascading plant. This is a cactus, but it's also an epiphyte. So in growing it, all these factors have to be put into consideration. Because it originates from the jungle, it doesn't really require too much light. So filtered light or a little shady will uh, benefit this plant better than just subjecting it to direct sunlight. Not a lot of pests or diseases really have issues with this plant. Um, the most important factor in growing it is the amount of light you want to subject it to, the heat and moisture really. Um, it requires high humidity because it's from the Amazon jungle as you can imagine. But otherwise it's a really beautiful plant to grow. It's a nice specimen if you want something to hang on the wall so that it can cascade. This is your plant. Even though it can be readily available in some garden centers or wherever you order tropical plants from, but still, this plant is categorized as rare plant. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.